What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and NetMarvel has done something new and actually pretty damn cool before an update. So, you know, you guys know that we lost Cage and Kim a long, long time ago. We haven't had a live stream in some time. And what they've done is they've done actually something very, very cool. They put up this video on YouTube to highlight all the good things about our update. And this is actually pretty freaking nice. So let's watch this, guys. This is awesome. Marvel Future Fights July Update. So a new narrator. Thor Jane Foster. Nice. Zachary, inspired by Marvel Studios. So there we get a look at the character models. They look freaking cool, man. Oh my god, they look awesome. Very nice, very nice. Love and Thunder are preparing to meet our agents. Many agents so this is Lucy. To the Thor update okay. So right here, guys, you can already see that we have indications of the legendary battle. We know we're getting a legendary battle. You can obviously you can see it right here. It's happening, which is great. Greetings, agents. And now we have Tom. So Tom and Lucy are our new uh, narrators. I'm here to help. The most anticipated aspect of the update. So here we actually get a good look at gore now gore i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys he looks awesome as far as like the movie version of the character i really wanted the comic book version of this character he looks so much better uh instead of a white christian bale <laughs> no christian bale but Okay, okay, okay. Still, though, we know he's in here, and I just hope to God that it isn't just a legendary battle. I hope we get a world boss legend. Aside from the update, see the little spider monsters. Before starting on the July okay, so they're gonna kind of chit chat about the update that we just had. I'm gonna go ahead and kiss, skip along here, guys. There we go. So now they're letting us know, you know, this is all development stuff. Don't worry. There might be some changes to what we're actually going to get in the update. Yes, we're well aware of all this. What is the theme of the July update? Then you get to take a look at some skills from Jane. Nice. And the uniforms and the new content following the theme will be added. Which superheroes will be updated? Hmm. Thor will be receiving tier yeah. three. Thor, Jane Foster for tier three. Mm -hmm. and a new uniform for Valkyrie. Yeah, we updated. know all that. Wow. Then what's the most exciting point of the update? Well, I'm excited for Thor. The, he's one the, the narrators in this and uh many of almost the speak like robots in a way, don't they? <laughs> Yeah, 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 Thor's a beloved character, big time. Thor, not only through the movie Marvel Studios, Thor, I definitely Marvel prefer the live versions, guys, of characters, of, of, of narrators. Not narrators, but people that actually talk about these things, like when we had Luke and Cage. But it's it's still cool, and it's nice to see them attempting to do something different. Okay, so here's where we get to the good stuff. a huge bonus in stats. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know that. It's become even more impressive. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the skills with thunder effects must grab so they're going to go over some changes that they right. did for Thor, and some of these changes actually look really good. Thor, slashing and smashing his axe with splendid thunder effects. This is a feature that only Thor, who has the abilities of both a warrior and mm -hmm. the god of thunder, has. damn right. The effects of thunder running through his axe must be cool. Thor is always cool. <laughs> Good attitude to have. You're right. What are the characteristics of the Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder inspired uniform? The uniform well, looks awesome. The first thing we can see is that visuals are cool. But that's not what Yeah, they like to show the for, is it? bridge there a lot. Enough of the looks ahead as well. The changed skills are the first skill of Thunder Slash, four mm -hmm. skill Endless Lightning Strike. And fifth skill, Wrath of the Cool, Thunder. so they're changing three yeah, skills, which is essential for Thor. To slash the one probably we won't even use, maybe to build up the, the, the tier three, maybe. Strength. It shows Thor's characteristics as a warrior well. And I think the fourth the skill, four skill this characteristic even better. 
If you guys notice, man, if you guys notice, he got that heal immediately. So that's already a huge improvement over his previous uniform where the Herald of Galactus, where he actually gets a heal at the end of a skill. I just hope they change the cooldown on that damn thing. That doesn't mean that there are no effects from his weapon. The looks of them, the and there's another change they did for him that's actually impressive. really good as well. Thor is a strong yet impressive hero. The fifth skill, the Wrath of the Thunder God. I want you guys to pay attention to something here. Look at the effect. Frequently when we think of Thor and his nah, look at the AOE on that, man. That's insane. So if you guys noticed, that fifth skill had five seconds of invincibility, which again is a big improvement over his previous uniform. That thing's only got three seconds of invincibility, so he can get guard broken really, really easy. And the fact that he's got five seconds is going to help his survivability. It's going to help him keep from getting guard broken as quickly, which is awesome. Really happy to see that. And as the wrath of the mystical gods, the wrath of the thunder gods strikes... I mean, when it comes to Thor, guys, it's always the lightning, right? The wrath of the thunder gods. Now, let's look at okay, Valkyrie. Okay, Valkyrie. What have they done for Valkyrie? It looks like she's preparing for a tough battle in her black suit. The battles in Marvel Future Fight are getting tougher, just like the battles in the movies. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about tougher in the movies. Marvel Future Fight. Tougher than Thanos? I don't know about all that. Valkyrie as a support. Will our agents be able to use Valkyrie more aggressively with this Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder inspired uniform? If you're concerned whether to upgrade Valkyrie or not, agents can try out Valkyrie in the second stage of the legendary battle. Yes. It will be added through this upgrade. There, well, there's confirmation of the battle right there. But we already knew that it was coming. By trying her out in legendary battle. I've got to try to Bulls, players can play with her a little bit. See if they like her. A new tier three advancement for Thor. Yeah. Jane Foster has become Thor. Moreover, she has become a powerful tier three superhero. Has Thor, she? Jane Foster has gained an ultimate skill by advancing to tier three. Mm. As ultimate skills are way stronger than other skills. Yeah. As more agents can now use Thor, Jane Foster, more effectively. Will she be strong enough to fight Gore the God Butcher? Gore the God Butcher has been added uh, to Legendary Battle. No, I want to see World so Boss Legend. That out in Legendary Battle. I want to see World Boss Legend, man. In this uniform, <laughs> a skill where Jane attacks by gathering the power of thunder together with Thor, will be added. Many agents must be thrilled to see the skill animation. You can enjoy the cool and thrilling looks of the power of thunder. In addition, a passive skill that can help her. Whoa, clear. whoa, 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 whoa. Applies to all allies with shock abilities, gives them a 30% ignore target dodge rate and an increase the lightning damage of 40%. So if anything, Jane's going to be a, a really good support for, you guessed it, for Thor. Wow. And for herself. Difficulties of Self buffing, that's awesome. That's nice. Allies with shock ability. So using Jane with shock type heroes will be effective. Together with Thor, right? There are many oh, heroes oh, yeah. with the shock nice. in Marvel Future Fight other than Thor. That must be a thrilling team. Aside from the thrilling team, there are more heroes that will make Marvel Future Fight stronger with potential transcendence. Angela, the daughter of Odin, Scourge, the warrior of Asgard, and Destroyer, a weapon created to protect Asgard, will be updated. A lot of warriors of Asgard are being updated for the update details. Mm -hmm. We'll see all this transcended is skills. A battle where we can face Gore, the God Butcher. Mm -hmm. Gore, the God Butcher is a powerful supervillain, as you can tell from his name. Yeah, Check he's supposed to be. The abilities of the supervillain Gore in the new legendary battle added through this update. The bonus rewards that can be acquired by completing mm -hmm. missions are great too. You can get a CTP of greed. By the CTP of greed? Uh, I mean, for uh, PvP. Right. Okay. For bonus rewards is one of the fun parts uh, of I mean, it's free, but. Meet all these superheroes in the uh, future fight. I'm sure you must have been waiting for the event. Okay, so the event now they're giving us a coupon code, which is really great. And I'm going to go ahead and let these guys tell you guys 
how to do it because I don't want to show you guys my ID. <laughs> well, we'll just let them do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll kind of skip along, guys. There we go. There you go. So make sure that you do plug in this coupon code so you can get the rewards from it. So we have discussed the heroes and new contents of the July update thus far. Please look forward to the next update. Hmm. Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. everyone. See, See you next, next time. time. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, I definitely like it. I mean, I definitely prefer the old ways we used to do this a lot better, you know, where we actually had live people with a live broadcast talking about all this stuff because they, it just seemed to hype it up a little bit better because, you know, the they seemed a little robotic in it. But I do like and appreciate that Netmarble is trying to do something different, is trying to hype up the update somewhat. I am disappointed, though, because all I've seen for Gore was a legendary battle, and that's all they mentioned as well. So it looks like, I mean... Unless they surprise us, it looks like we're not getting a world boss legend. And unfortunately, with legendary battles, as cool as they are and as fun as they can be, it's just most of the time we don't really play them that much unless they add something new. And yeah, they just kind of sit and rot after we go through them, get all of our rewards from them. So yeah, I'm a little bummed out about that. I mean, I'm really, really happy to see that they made some changes to Thor. I mean, seriously, man, the fact getting that heal immediately on this skill and and the fact that they change this three second invincibility to five seconds those two things alone uh, are pretty quality as well as jane getting the passive uh extra passive bus for the north target dodge rate and the increased lightning damage that's actually pretty damn sick so even if she isn't that strong as a support like whenever you level her up she's still gonna be very very useful for characters that have lightning damage which is pretty damn sweet but let me know what you guys think about everything that you have seen today. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. TG Plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.